Although the implication in the word animator is all about pencils and paper, the second entry in the Japan Animator Expo immediately took a turn towards spotlighting 3D staff. And since this is a project led by Studio Kara, who better to spotlight than Kara Digital Department? Hill Climb Girl follows two high schoolers who take competitions racing up a hill. These characters are designed by studio triggers Mai Yonayama, who also designed the interesting cast of Kiss Naiva. To make a short story even shorter, the girl always loses the race, that is, until she watches her favourite bike racer on TV, who inspires her to beat him, which impresses him so much that he asks her out, and then the whole thing ends on her blushing. That's the easy part. While some of these shorts have a dedicated writer on staff to create interesting stories and narratives, others are regarded more as technical showcases. In this case, the more junior staff at Kara were brought together under the 3D direction of Takeshi Miyagi. Hill Climb Girl is a test in bicycle animation. All those cogs and chains need to be created and animated from scratch, and with close-up shots, everything needs to be exact and accurate. The staff spent a lot of time around bikes, and the director himself even went cycling in this exact location for reference footage. However, the goal was to make it all look 2D. That's why there were 2D animators on staff to support, and that's also why they had to do this to make the characters consistent with the 2D character designs, even in the third dimension. And from there, it was added to After Effects for compositing that replicated that 2D aesthetic from Mayonyama. And this was all created by the younger staff of Kara Digital. Whilst most of the studio's big projects are headed by Hiroyas Kobayashi, there were staff on this that had only just graduated from college. And it was up to these two directors, seen here in Studio Kara racing jackets, that gave them their first chance to work in a key role on an anime project. And if that's not what Animator Expo is all about, then what is?